Rights of Battle is first, uh, sixth edition battle report. Uh, playing today are uh, myself, Godfrey's Imperial Guard, uh, versus Warmaster Havoc, uh, who's bringing two new armies to the table. He's bringing uh, Tau with Allied Eldar, or is it yep. the other way around? Tau with Allied Eldar. All right, got you. Uh, before we do some rundowns, you'll notice that the table looks a little bit different. Uh, we've got a lot more terrain. Um, Thanks to some Gen Con sales and stuff like that, we've got a couple more big buildings to run around and uh, some new things to kind of spruce up our uh, spruce up our games. So we'll uh, we'll go through the rundown. Currently, War Master Havoc has first turn, so we'll let him do his army rundown first. So All right. What you got? Well, starting here on my left, I've got standard squad of fire warriors saddled up in the building like the pussies they are. Um, then we've got the hammerhead, followed by the piranha. By itself because I don't own anymore. Um, we've got the ugly motherfucker there. Great Lord. Yeah, that one. I always forget its fucking name. Um, we've got the fire warriors out front. Uh, Rod side up there because he's the only one I have right now, excluding the Forge World one that came in today. Um, we've got two sniper squads. Um, my suit commander and his bodyguard with two shield drones. Um, the far seer with the seer council is in the, uh... Very thank you. I don't know all my Eldar yet. <laughs> I traded a magic card for him. What can I say? Um, we've got swooping hawks in reserves. Um, regular gardens. Yeah, guardians with the shuriken cannon hiding in the building. Um, I infiltrated some pathfinders into the structure to hold that point. And I inf infiltrated some Stealth suits down in the corner of the building. All right, cool. Um, and over on my side of the board, um, I am implementing uh, the worst of IG list uh, using uh, units that just never see play because, well, reason. kind of for good reason. They're pretty bad. Uh, but we'll see what we can make them do. Uh, over here is a Chimera with six Ogrens. I've got two armored Sentinels with plasma cannons. Uh, a Bane Wolf, which is the Kim Cannon version of the uh, Hellhound. Uh, spruced in are five individual squads of Penal Legion. Um, each of them having an attached Ministorum Priest with the Eviscerator, just because those never see play either. Uh, up top, I've got some proxied Rattlings. I have ten Rough Riders with Mogul Khmer. Uh, I have a Primaris Psyker, who used telepathy to get uh, the Primaris power as well as one that's it's okay. It's a bunch of take leadership tests to do anything. And then over here we have the Death Strike missile with a Tech Priest chilling out behind it. So uh, basically just units that never really see play, the worst of IG. Uh, we are playing the Scouring uh, on Dawn of War, which is a pitch battle. And currently I hold uh, two objectives, Each one there. Three. And one there, both were three. Uh, Havoc holds two as well, but his are both worth two. So I snagged a little bit of luck with that. But um, I gotta go ahead and do some scout moves with the Penal Legion, because they do have it. And uh, then I'll try to seize the initiative, because currently he has first turn. And uh, we'll come back to you after whoever goes first. So we'll see you guys then. Hello, um, welcome back. Uh, we're here at the middle of one, and um, yeah. I, I, Very successful round of shooting. I, I kind of rolled the six, and so the, the silly guard army got to go first. Again? Um, yeah, again. It's like the third game in a row with yep. Havoc that I've seized. I feel kind of bad. But, um, I moved up all of the Penal Legion pretty much. I have pretty much advanced to kind of a midfield position. Uh, fired at him. Let's see, uh, you gotta take a leadership test on those uh, guys up there. On there, uh, there. Uh, and yeah, so they fail. Oh boy. Um, and then those guys up there, uh, they're good. They're good. They're good. He, um, he's good. Oh, yeah. Uh, I've reduced his Pathfinders down to one dude uh, by some lucky shots and, and some Six inches. And stuff. And, uh, those guys are falling back, but they can get the chance to retaliate. Uh, beyond that, I've put a wound on a broadside, and that's about all I, well, I killed a couple of fire warriors down there. I think, how many did you lose there? Three? Yeah. That's 30%. Or five. Or, yeah, or five. Whatever. Four. Oh, oh, I killed four? Yep. And you're a 12 on squad? So yeah, that is a little bit uh, they're good. Six, they're good. They're fine. Uh, I moved out. My uh, my opens are on the move, uh, and so are the so are the death riders. 
So uh, that's that's pretty much me. Uh, we'll come back uh, once uh, Almic has returned fire. So see you then. All right. Welcome back to the start or bottom of turn one. St start of turn two. Um, after a rather interesting turn of shooting, didn't manage to get a single wound on or not wound, whole point off of the bane blade over there. Bane wolf. Bane Dude, wolf. that was a bane blade. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, bane wolf. But it's not a bane blade. Um, after two. You did get first blood though. I did get first blood because. The Seer Council hopped out and absolutely annihilated the penal <laughs> legion that was hiding on the $70 crater there. <laughs> um, and you pinned so, some ratlings. I pinned the ratlings up there with my sniper drones. I killed one. But it worked. <laughs> Thank you, Lead 6. <laughs> Lead 6 will uh, we'll do um, that. My fire warriors unleash holy hell on the uh, rough riders. It's that's the sound of There's, it. yeah, that's the sound after all. Um, <laughs> so I think that's about it. You got a wound on yeah, the we hopped bonehead, and that's about the it. Stealth suits hopped over the wall, tried to do something over there. I uh, got a precise shot onto the uh, bonehead. bonehead with my melted gun, fusion blast, or whatever the hell you want to call it. Out, sir. Um, Took it in the face. And then that's that pretty much it. We'll see it. It'll turn. Basically, the Death Strike fired, uh, planted it right over there, and it basically cooked uh, one Everything. of the sniper teams because it killed the team leader. It was one hell of a fish fry. Brought side and the, all of the fire warriors. Um, and then, kind of over here, uh, the uh, the Bane Wolf kind of ate the, uh, well, the combined fire of the Bane Wolf and the, uh, the plasma Bane. cannons kind of killed off them. So I got his Warlord. Uh, fired a little bit more at the Storm Guardians, they're hurt. They need to make a leadership test, by the way, I believe. Um, just kind of a little bit more pew-pew. Um, big note was that uh, my fine. horses charged. Okay, good. And uh, used their spears to get rid of the, uh, the uh, broadside, or the hammerhead. It was over there, so it's gone. They're good. Yep. Uh, put some more wounds on some fire warriors and yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the Ogrens are over there, charged in, and, and killed the stealth suits. And so now we've got um, suits on uh, on Ogrens. So so it, it's it's not looking terribly great for the Eldar and Tau. But nope. You never know. So uh, what, what, what do you think? Any any optimistic thoughts? Nope. <laughs> no. Okay. Well, uh, we'll be back. So uh, at the bottom of two. So and we'll see you then. And welcome back to the bottom of the second. Um. Well, to start off. Let's start over here on the left again. Shooting took a couple of the Phoenix Legion from the Fire Warriors. Yeah. Um. He's been chilling in there the whole time in dangerous terrain. But Um. <laughs> he took care. He made short work of what was left of the Rough Riders. Um, and then over here we had the Wave Serpent kill two of the Penal Legion over there that says they all have melted guns. I think they're lying sons of bitches. <laughs> nope, they don't. They're just lying guns. See? Lying sons of bitches. Just <laughs> if, if it works, it worked. But um, the Piranha tried to kill the Bane Wolf. Yeah. Aha, got it right this time. Tried to kill the Bane Wolf and failed miserably. Surprise, surprise. And uh, you shot some Ogrens. Yep. I managed to get three wounds of Ogrens using uh, the suits and the uh, Guardians. 
Mr. Ranger up here has done absolutely nothing all game. And, uh, yeah, that's all that's happened on the bottom of the second. We will see you at the middle of the third. You do still have uh, Swooping Hawks. Yes, that are Swooping Hawks choice. still are in reserve. And scoring, yes. All right. See you at the bottom of the middle of the third. See you there. Yo dudes, uh, here we are at the bottom of three, and I think uh, middle, of uh, middle of three, and I think uh, we're calling it that. Yep. Three? Okay. Um, yeah, uh, I just kind of got some some really good luck, just kind of continuing to plow into things. Um, the Ogrens actually didn't do terribly well back there. We tied combat. I lost my bonehead, um, but we are tied in, and I'm I'm really probably putting map on my side uh, in the long run, just because. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. It could go either way, but doesn't really matter. Um, the problem, and I think the reason that we called it was over here, um, I got some shots off on his Piranha, which was his kind of last ditch hope, it was a scoring objective, uh, all this stuff, uh, but it's gone, uh, and then, uh, the, the Penal Legion, let it never be said the Penal Legion are worthless, they're just interesting, uh, the, the squad there actually has the, the second option, which is, uh, Furious Charge, Counterattack, and Fleet, uh, and Furious Charge and Counterattack both, uh, or, uh, and, and Fleet, fleet came in because I rolled a 6 and a 2, and because Fleet lets me reroll the charge distance, I rolled the, the rerolled the 2 and got the, the second 6, and I needed boxcars to get the assault. And they charged in there with Furious Charge, and the with the combined strength of just a bunch of Strength 4 against Rear 10, and the Eviscerator on them in a Storm Priest, they just kind of tore apart. Uh, so it wrecked. Uh, and so he kind of lost both of his vehicles here in the middle, and uh, I don't know if you knew, but the center objective there was the four point, and my Bane Wolf is primed and ready to snag it uh, for the next couple oh, turns. And your penal legion, right? Uh, and, and yeah, I do have troops here, uh, two squads of troops that you can kind of spread out. Bane Wolf to grab that and the ball off. Yeah, that is very true. I could, see, there's just a lot of options, and I also do still have my Sentinels sitting back here on a point, uh, so they're holding that one as well. Now, uh, had we gone on to his turn, I'm pretty sure he was going to send his uh, his uh, swooping hawks back here, uh, and probably would have would have snagged that point. But I'm not sure that would have been enough with me having uh, most likely a three, a four, and two, um, potentially contesting that one. But I'm going to say that I had a good chance. And he still has to knock me off this one, even though it is still just a one point. Uh, but that said, it was a very good game. Um, I think it kind of came up to that last that last bit of shooting. Um, I don't know. Uh, what do you think, man? What was your What was your MVP? What was uh, what, what, what were all the suits? Yeah, the suits were the MVP. Yeah, I'd say the suits definitely uh, they, they pull off some tricks. Uh, <laughs> if, I, I don't know. I think if I were to, to claim an MVP on my side, what, what 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 caused you the most grief? The death strike? Yes. Yeah. Because uh, it took out the entire center of my army. That is true. I mean, uh, I wouldn't have put. The, the center of your army lasting a whole lot longer. You know, but I mean, it could have put some hurt out. Oh us. yeah, it, it definitely could have. I mean, I had uh, I had these two squads here that were kind of looking at it, and it, I mean, it was there was no nobody was winning that fight really at that point. And the death strike, got, uh, I, I was really lucky, got it on the second turn uh, and fired, and it just really cleared out the center of the board. Um, so it's. It's, it was a good game. It was a very solid game. Oh, yeah. Played. Um, I think the, the biggest problem came down to just Tau and Eldar is very inefficient because of their age. But, uh, yeah, but they're still they're very, they're it. still very, very competitive uh, if they played right. And, uh, I don't know if it was a good game. So. Uh, anyways, uh, that's what we yeah. have. I am Godfrey, and this uh, was a Rights of Battle Battle Report. So um, we got to come up with a better name. Rights of Battle Battle. Let's just say Rights of Battle. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Uh, this was a Rights of Battle report, so uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed, uh, and we will uh, see you again sometime in the future. See you later.